Melissa asked me how to um, combine or merge two photos and I would suggest that it's going to be different with every um, every set of photos. Uh, Photoshop Element 6 has a uh, great new tool for merging photos that I might uh, try playing with after uh, this tutorial is done. Uh, but let's just do this this one the manual way. Here is a sample I played first to see um, what method I would do to uh, put the photos together. And uh, this is uh, my first trial that I did. Uh, the final results. She has a beautiful photo, two beautiful photos of a rainbow. She lives in uh, Alaska and does uh, her husband does fishing uh, out on the ocean and uh, I just have been enjoying learning all about a new kind of life uh, seeing her layouts lately. Um, here are the two original photos and you can see that they're each a half of the um, rainbow. It's not a complete rainbow. I like to uh, make copies of the layers to work with and I'm going to bring them on up to the top. That way if I mess up in the middle of it it's easy to start over by grabbing my originals again. I'm going to turn off the originals and I have the two copies up here. This is my layer for the uh, first sample I did. Um, making tutorials I do have to uh, work on a little bitty screen so hopefully I can do this fairly well. I think uh, I'm going to utilize this as my main portion of the photo and I'm going to try to add this section of the rainbow to this section. So I'm going to raise that layer up so it's above the other one. Now the first thing I notice is you can see this photo, the horizon, is a straight horizontal and this one she took it with the camera a little tilted. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of eye that and turn it so that the horizon is, is horizontal. And now this is easier to see close up but it's hard to work on a little screen. I'm going to find the areas that match. You can see this little area here is actually this area and I'm a little concerned that the body, the two photos are actually a little bit of a different color. Um, you might want to play with coloring to uh, fix them so they're identical. Uh, but right now I'm just going to work on the merging. I can see a little dark area right here in the clouds on both of them and I'm going to try to place them directly over each other but now you can see I have a problem in that my horizon does not line up uh, it's because it was taken at different angles or not quite lined up so I'm going to activate the lower layer and and just kind of play with it zoom back in a little bit until I get everything to match up. I'm just going to resize it and move it, scooch it. I see I'm, I made it smaller at first. It's actually needing to be larger. Let's see, have I got that lined up pretty well? Not quite. Make it just a tad, whoops, larger. Let's see what I got now. My horizons are lined up and it looks like 
the rainbow is also lined up and so I'm going to accept that enlargement. Now, <coughs> um, I could play with the two colors, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now, even though it's really bugging me. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, click on the top layer, and go up to the Layers drop-down menu, and Merge Down. And know, now those two photos are one layer. Uh, I like having all this ocean down here. I really don't want to crop this off and uh, lose how the uh, rainbow is centered. So I'm going to go over here and grab my clone tool. Hold down on the Alt. Well, let's make it a little larger by using the bracket key. Hold down the Alt key. Click over here. On, let's click way over here on the ocean. And then just draw me some extra ocean. And uh, I'm going to do the same up here for the sky. Let's just draw in some, and I'm even going to fix the sky up here where the two photos were merging while I'm at it. Now let's um, crop our photo. I'm going to draw with the rectangle marquee tool an area and then right click and I see select inverse and now the area outside of my selection is is now actually selected and I can hit delete on my keyboard and it has deleted that entire area. I want to trim up the bottom a little more. <laughs> Okay, now we have <coughs> a great start, but if you'll zoom in, you'll notice that there's a line where the two photos merge. There are several ways that you can fix this. If you go to the Healing Brush tool and make it an appropriate size brush, um, with using your bracket keys and simply hold down the mouse key and draw straight down that line and let it work. Oh, that did not work well. I'm going to hit control Z. Let's make the brush a little smaller and see what that does. there. Now you can see that um, it is nearly fixed. You can run it over some more, but I'm going to go ahead and use the clone tool and make my brush rather small by using the bracket keys and hold down the alt key and hit right um, I'm going to start down here, right next to the area that needs to be fixed and then I'm going to just draw up the area and I see a little area here that needs fixing and now you can tell it's really shaping up I think um, the area in the rainbow is just fine I kind of think I see a little crook in the rainbow I'm going to use my um, clone tool to maybe smooth that out a little bit. And you go back out. Now if the photos were the same color, uh, if I would have fixed the color correction first, then this might be a little bit uh, better, but you can see how easily that was done. You know, merging photos um, such as oceans and clouds are easy because uh, cloning them uh, is not very difficult to do at all. And so uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and uh, I'll see if uh, Melissa will let me put up these photos so that you can play with them yourself. Uh, have a great day!
In my last uh, tutorial for merging these two photos, I continued to complain that the colors in the two photos were not the same. And I do want to take a moment to show you how um, to fix that. It's really quite easy. Uh, first, um, get your eyedropper tool and sl uh, find an area in the photo that you know you can go back to. And I, I see this little ripple here, so I'm going to go directly under that ripple. And I have now the color in my color picker. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to highlight the code at the bottom and press Control C on my keyboard to put that into my clipboard and click OK. And I'm going to make sure that I am on the uh, this half, the photo that's on this half. It's on this layer here. And I'm going to um, bring up the levels box by hitting Control L on my keyboard. And the middle dropper here is to set the gray point. I'm going to double click on it uh, to bring up the color picker. Highlight the code area and press Control V to put that color from my color picker. You'll see it's now the same. And click OK. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Now, um, wherever I hit with the eyedropper out on the photo, it will um, change everything to be the color that I have set it to be on this gray point ar area. And so uh, here's my little ridge. So I'm going to select right next to it. And it didn't quite work, so just kind of click around until you hit just the right point. There it is. And now you can see that the two photos, the uh, ocean, are the same color. And I'm just going to hit OK, and it's going to ask me, do I want to save the target colors as a default? I do not want to do that. That would be um, keeping that uh, color in, in as the default for the gray, and I don't want that. And so I'm going to click No. And uh, you will see now that the two photos are more of the same color. Um, I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful to you, and I look forward to seeing uh, what you can do with it.